What is up guys? Today we're going to be getting the King's Armor. As you can see on screen, looks pretty royal. You got the cape, the fur, the crown, everything. Uh, like a king. Pretty sweet. And to get this, we actually have to kill King Vendrick. Uh, you know where he is if you've come across him. He's part of the main storyline. Uh, you don't actually have to kill him to complete the game, but you have to have passed him. So go ahead and take him down, then head to the second bonfire in the Shrine of Amana. And just out of the bonfire and past this like rockway. Um, there's going to be some enemies. I've already killed them just for ease of the video. Uh, just go through the water here and you see the second pile of rocks. We're just going to be heading over off to this side. And there's a path. It's kind of difficult to see. I don't know if like you have to be close to it or it's just the angle of the water. But uh, there it is. And if you see off in the distance, there's some roots. Uh, we're going to be going over there. And to open this door behind these roots, you need to have killed King Vendrick and be human. So make sure you have used a human effigy and turned human. And just chop these roots through uh, and open the door. First thing you see is a chair, and that's going to have the soul of the king. You can trade the soul of the king to Ornifex with some souls to get the king's sword. I think it's, uh, I'm not exactly sure. It's not called the king's sword. It's like the royal sword or something. The king's ultra great sword or his shield. And we're going to be heading up this path, a left from the chair. And at the top, there's going to be a chest. Open the chest, and inside is the king's armor. Now, uh, hey, I'll throw it on screen one more time, the armor. You can see it one more time. And uh, I just wanted to say thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, subscribe for more Dark Souls content, and uh, that has been it.